Hey there guys, how's it going? I'm another boss uh, from Coding Wars and in this um, relatively short tutorial I'm gonna be showing you um, some cool uh, console tricks in JavaScript um, the, the, the console method uh, th this namespace uh, on which you can call different methods we will play with it today and also I'll show you how to change uh, colors in the console to make it look cooler so first is the simple the, the log the console the log if you're not familiar with console uh, methods uh, then I'm gonna show you this is console log this is the basic the most basic thing out there so you can put strings in it let me open my console by pressing F12 okay I have put a string uh, which is in quotes, so JavaScript will treat it as a, as a string. So I'm running it, and you can see it has output strings. Now, if I put a comma right there and say string two, move the S, and run again, and you can see it has put a space in between these two arguments and then log them. Now you can also do string substitution in uh, console.log. Uh, basically, if I have a string which says hi I am, let's say I have a variable name which equals to another, uh, which is my name. So hi I am person s. Um, hi I am person s. No, not like that. Let's do it like person s welcome to my app okay so if I now I log it you'll see that it says string to welcome to my app this string to is uh, this uh, person s is being replaced by the second argument so if you put it right here if you put another here or I mean the, the variable here and we run that um, you can see that another welcome to my app you can also do it like this if you want multiple string substitutions you can do that as well welcome to my um, app how are you no fuck okay you can do here person one more person s and constant greeting is equal to how are you today and then I run that you can see that now they're welcome to my oh I didn't I did not I'm sorry about that so greeting and I enter now they're welcome to my app how are you today so that's console.log you can uh, also log JavaScript objects let's say I have an object that is let's do it the other way constant object is equal to let's say there is an object with a sub object uh, the main of the clause with a sub object name is dog and methods with another object and then run which is an error function which returns false uh, so assume that and if you do control enter uh, we have we are not logging it so console.log if we log that object and you can see right here uh, you can click on this and it will get, uh, expand and clause has a methods has a name property with the value of dog and has a method property which is a sub object and if you go into that it has a run property which is a function which returns false you can see here and the proto uh, this contains the functions you can um, you can put on this I mean uh, the value it, this will return uh, you can filter uh, you can put these functions in that to string value of and all that stuff uh, the, the core JavaScript functions okay so that is console.log then you have I'm sorry about that then you have let's first clear out the console I'm not liking it so console dot 
there's another property um, which is yeah console dot there that is actually not pretty suitable for this tutorial uh, let's do console dot count okay so console dot count what it does console dot count is a what it does is it counts the number of times you console log something you you you, you put out something on the on the um, on the console and it it is identi it identify the number of time uh, it is done by a label you pass to it let's say we have a label um, which says count and we do it once more console dot count with the same label which is count you can see in the console at the right uh, that says count one and count two we do it once more uh, console dot count that is not a dot probably console dot count and that says count two and if you do that you can see uh, let me clear the console first of all and let's let's uh, we all we always have to clear the console so at the top I can do a console dot clear so that every time we run our new snippet the console will automatically be cleared so let's run that now you can see the console was cleared due to this line of code and then count one count two and count two again one with this this label has only be, been put out here once so there's just one right there so this was console.count now you we have count uh, on on this count thingy we can do console.count reset as well and we can pass in the the label and if we do that to count remove the two from there and we run that now you see count one count two and it becomes one again because it was reset right here so this will was console dot count but i don't think it's very you know like um useful there there's another method on the console namespace that is very very useful um using which you can sometimes track the execution time of your application uh, when it started to execute and when it uh, was done or through an error whatever so console let's do console dot time this also um, takes in a label so let's say runtime as, as, as its label and then we go here and say set timeout and pass in a function right there and we say console dot time end and run time again and we do this after two seconds so basically when this code will run uh, this uh, after two seconds this time will be ended uh, of the label runtime and it will put out um, the execution the, the, the time the time in seconds from this to the execution of this if there was a code between like loops and all that and and asynchronous um, API calls whatever after all that all that code will be done from here but in in this case in this case in this case we are setting a timeout to simulate that situation so let's run that oh there's a, oh console <laughs> it's not console it's console console and enter that you can see it will say runtime 2000 and something milliseconds so you can see this is pretty pretty you know useful sometimes so this was console the time and console the time end um, now you have something like console dot error from where you can put out errors this is an error let's run that you can see that how it's nicely coming out um, besides that you can also do console dot warning and you can see this is not an error but it is an it is a warning 
Oh, controller or no? <laughs> this is an actual error. What happened? It is. I don't think it was warning. Let's say it was warned. I don't remember. Yeah, it, it was. I'm sorry about that. It was warned. So console dot warn. So this is an error. Now also we also have console. This is another pretty useful thing. We have console dot group. Okay, console dot group. Um, let me enter. Let let me demonstrate. First of all, we can do console at the top console. Dot create. Uh, sorry if uh, I'm doing a lot of mistakes in typing. It's because of my keyboard. I don't know what uh, what has happened to it. The keys get stuck. Okay, this is console dot clear, and then what we can do is I was uh, gonna demonstrate console dot group. So to do that, here we have uh, let's say console dot log, and this is the outer level then we do console dot group and then we do console dot log and this is the inner level and then we console dot um, group end and then we have console dot log back to outer level let me show you how that looks like now we have you can see that console this is the outer level okay then we do console dot group right here and it goes it indents the console the logs this is the outer level and this go goes like a tab ahead and if we do another group inside a group it will go further more out like further here so then we end the group by group and and we come back to the outer level like this so this was this is uh, i think pretty useful the console dot group so i think th these are all the useful ones there are obviously other methods you can do a namespace this console namespace but i think this is the the, the all the useful ones um now i can i will show you how you can change the color in your in your in your console okay so for that i will use visual studio code i have here the application running here i was doing something so i have the index.js file i will use node.js for this particular color changing tutorial so here we have a pretty good package which have like 9.3 million downloads weekly downloads okay let's uh, we can copy npm i colors or npm install colors and let's paste that in and install this uh, glorious package at least I love it okay let's have a constant with a string with the name of um, name um no like uh, yeah name and we have a name which is not there let's do the other way to 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 uh, is is uh make this easy for the beginners let's say console dot log and here we say first of all we need to import that colors so colors is equal to require oh six require colors and then we do colors um dot green let's do not there and save that and just run that node index and you can see right there you have not there in green and we if we put right a uh a this right there not not this we put a comma right there and say colors dot red let's do a colors dot white and we say a boss there and then we run that again oh shakes i wonder why it's not doing that okay no problem um you can do colors dot green dot underline save that and let's run that what happened Okay, I didn't put the parenthesis. 
and let's run that again what the fuck colors dot greens dot underline what is happening uh let me let me let me see about that missing off per argument list okay that's I didn't expect that, to be honest. Um, let me see what I'm doing wrong. It's okay, I think. Uh, okay, let me, let me pause that. Okay, so it puts a if you do that node index it it makes it red but it doesn't put an underline right there i think it's because of the the the, the real code um it also had a lot of like methods you can see it has like random and american rainbow let's test out rainbow so if you do colors dot rainbow and we save that and run that you can see that <laughs> it looks foolish okay then we have America save that and put that out the American colors then we have oh, I think yep we can do it another way we can do it another dot underline save that and run and it doesn't why doesn't it do underline i don't know now that it's red and we do that you can see that it is also bar to the window object the window dot prototype object so we can di directly use these as if we were using two string or index of we can do it like those things Okay, so this was the thing. Uh, hope you liked the tutorial. I made some mistakes in that. Uh, I didn't know of because uh, I think that is due to this terminal. I don't know. I have to do a, a bit of research. So please like my uh, video and subscribe my channel if you liked it. Um, I will put out um, additional videos, uh, new videos about new things. Uh, till then, bye bye.